What's up, FPV addicts? I'm Ignacio, and today we're going to learn everything about launch control and how to configure it. This is a new mode that is available from Betaflight 4.0 and upwards, and basically it allows us to give the drone a certain angle at the beginning, so that way we put the drone in that angle, then we start moving the throttle up, and once we reach a certain threshold that we're defining, the drone will be launched forward. So let's jump into Betaflight to configure this. So the first thing you need to make sure is that you have Betaflight 4.0 or newer. Then we need to go to configuration and we need to enable accelerometer and make sure that air mode is turned on. Then we need to hit save and reboot. Then we go to the mode tab and if we go all the way down you can see launch control. Here we're going to add a range and in this case I'm going to add it on AUX3. And in my case, I'm giving it all of this range. Why? Because AUX3 is also my arm switch. And basically, I'm reusing that one to add launch control. Then we're going to hit save. And finally, we're going to hit CLI. And here, we're going to basically copy this, paste it, hit enter, write save, press enter again. And that's it. We have launch control configured. But if you want a bit more information, stay for some explanation. <clears throat> so this first part, basically launch control mode, it tells us what kind of mode it's using. I would suggest that you use only the normal one, since the other ones I have tried them, but they're a bit buggy at the time of this video. So just stick with the normal. It will work for both uh, freestyle frames and racing frames. Then we have launch trigger allow reset. In this case, we're leaving it at off, and why? <clears throat> because this allows us to disable the future once we have launched. And this is really helpful because if you crash and then you need to disarm and arm again, you're making sure that the launch control is off and it will not cost you any issue. If you want to reset this, what you need to do, you basically need to unplug your battery, connect it again, and that way you have launch control Again, just for your first liftoff. Then we have launch trigger throttle percentage, and this one is set at 45 right now. And basically that means that you need to put your throttle stick all the way to 45% so that your drone launches forward. If you have your throttle below that, it will not do anything. So basically this is adjusting, let's say, the power at which you're launching. And at the end, we have launch angle limit. In this case, I have it at 30 because I have a freestyle frame. And if I move this upward to 40 or something like that, my front props are going to hit the ground. But you can adjust it for your needs. You can put it on 40, 45, 50, 60 or whatever you want. And basically, it limits the angle at which the drone is pitching forward when you move the pitch joystick upwards. So that helps us have a more consistent launch every time. So here put whatever you feel comfortable with and remember that if this angle moves up, your throttle percentage most likely will also move up if you don't want to be hitting the ground because you're lacking the power. So that will be all for, so that will be it. Uh, one last point, uh, when you're launching, you have to first pitch forward to get into the angle. Then you need to return the pitch joystick to the center and then you start increasing the throttle until it launches. And here is really critical that you return the pitch to the center because if you don't do that, you will end up like me, just hitting the ground and eating all the dirt. So you don't want to be that guy. Always return your pitch joystick to the center before launching. So that will be all for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share with your friends. If you have any comments, leave them below. And as always, fly safely.